Hello everyone, today we have new video review and this time we're gonna check fresh release from ICM. As you can see this time it's a figurine kit which copies British infantry in gas masks from World War One, so it should come handy for some interesting diorama or maybe you would like to build a scene on its own with these four figurines. But this is a fresh tooth kit so it is interesting to see what is inside. As usual let me remind you that we are still gathering money for the new camera and you can help us by pressing the donate button on our website. It is easy, it is done on PayPal so it should be safe as well. So here it is, as you can see we have this impressive box art on the front side, it is not done as a white box as usual figurine kits from ICM so it's quite surprising. Then here we have pictures of all four figurines which are included into this kit and of course from the other side we have black on black written information about the kit. So there are 47 parts for figurines and 150 parts for different accessories for these figurines. Uh, box structure is quite typical for ICM as you can see we have this color printed thin part and then we have sturdy white cardboard box inside. Let's open it and here is what we have inside. So as you can see we have several plastic sprues and assembly manual on the bottom. Of course we will take a look at plastic sprues first and then we will check assembly manual. Just give me a second to open them. So uh, first of course I want to see figurine parts which are molded on this frame. These are typical brown plastic parts and as you can see parts division should be also familiar to you if you already assembled uh, some of the ICM kits in 135 scale. So we have separate body, head, hands, legs and note that some hands are pre-molded together with different accessories and the most interesting thing here is that you don't see gas masks. Note that this is a, just a simple face of the soldier. Why? Because uh, manufacturer provides gas masks and new heads on the next plastic sprue. This one. As you can see it's a smaller one and here we have only heads and necessary equipment for gas masks. And I will flip it over so that you can see them from the other side. Of course it will involve some careful painting but final result should be quite interesting I would say. And of course nobody stops you from assembling let's say three figurines in gas masks and only one guy without mask. Maybe some dramatic scene with those guys, with those soldiers. Here you can see another plastic sprue. This one contains uh, these 150 parts which I mentioned before which are dedicated to different accessories. I'm not sure if here we have exactly 150 but still you can see here that we have different equipment in form of tools, pioneer tools, guns and even helmets are here. So it will be up to you what you use on your figurines. I can zoom in so that you can see molding quality which is quite nice here and you won't find flesh even on thin parts and that's actually good. And of course separately molded helmets should be easier to paint than this which are pre-molded together with hands as in some other kits from different manufacturers. Then we have assembly manuals. Those, as I said before, come on two separate sheets of paper. First one I will show you this uh, figurine assembly manual. Here we have parts map, paints chart and from the other side we have marking guide which is combined together with um, assembly manual. And as you can see you have to scratch build some of the elements. I guess it concerns this special belt on the rifle. But I think it won't be difficult. And the second assembly manual is dedicated to equipment. British infantry equipment. Here you can see parts map. Here we have the paints chart again. And here we have extensive assembly manual and marking guide which is printed in black and white. But I think it won't be difficult to guess. Uh, how to paint those items. So that's all for this video review. I hope you enjoyed it. As usual, don't forget to leave your opinion here in the comment section below. If you like this video, press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I will see you in the next video review. As usual, bye.